Hi dear student, welcome to my channel. So in this slot, I'm going to discuss the properties of period 3 oxide and under design uh, which carries 17 marks, I'm going to discuss the heat of neutralization between sodium hydroxide solution react with different type of acid. So let's move on to the first question which is uh, the properties of acid. The aim of this experiment to investigate the properties of period 3 oxide compound so we check what is period 3 element the period 3 elements are placed in period 3 because these elements have three shells filled with electron the elements are sodium and C margarine always sing pop song call active active and these elements the period 3 elements can react with oxygen to form oxide compound except the argon argon why because this argon is chemically chemically inert or chemically stable exists as monoatomic gases already achieve stable octet electron arrangement other period 3 element they can react with oxygen and form oxide compound which carries formula sodium oxide na2 magnesium oxide mgo aluminium oxide Al2O3 silicon dioxide SiO2 P2O5 sulfur dioxide Cl2O7 and we check the properties of this oxide compound so I'll do table like this I divide here all right so these are the period on period 3 oxide compound so I'll do like this and basically the sodium oxide and magnesium oxide are known as basic oxide Silicon dioxide and uh, dichloroacta oxide, these oxides are acidic, acidic oxide. Aluminium oxide is very special. This is known as m 4 oxide, which can react with both acid and alkali. All right, so we try to check which oxide properties are the oxide. Sodium oxide is soluble in water. Okay, so we can take the sodium oxide can dissolve in the water. So sodium oxide dissolve in the water. So I add Na2O. So it will form an alkaline solution which is sodium hydroxide. And when we put red litmus paper, it will turn to blue. And aluminium oxide insoluble in water but they can react with acid and also alkali to produce a salt solution. All right, which are with pH value of 7. While these are uh, silicon dioxide anterior, we can take the sulfur dioxide. When I take sulfur dioxide gas, dissolve in the water H2O, it will produce our acidic solution. So sulfur dioxide dissolve in the water, it will produce acidic solution. When I place here blue litmus paper, blue litmus paper, it will turn to red color. Alright, so we check the questions here. Okay, solubility of oxide compound in water. So here they put water reacted with sodium oxide. When sodium oxide dissolve in water, it will produce sodium hydroxide. Alright, so it will produce sodium hydroxide. I'll redo again. So react with water. So we will get NaOH balance put to here. And this oxide, uh, uh, sodium hydroxide is alkaline solution. So therefore, it will turn the red litmus paper to blue color. And while this one, the second experiment, when we take sulfur dioxide dissolve in the water, we will get acidic solution. When we place a blue litmus paper, it will turn to red. So we go and uh, we try to do hypothesis. Again, the hypothesis will be when sodium oxide dissolve dissolve in water dissolve in water sodium oxide dissolve in water shows shows alkaline alkaline properties all right and the sulfur sulfur dioxide the sulfur dioxide dissolve dissolve in the water shows shows acidic acidic properties all right so we try to do um, variables for this uh, reaction this experiment the many plated variable the factor that change purposely is type 
type of oxide or student can name the oxide that used in this experiment which is sodium oxide and sulfur sulfur dioxide gas all right so the responding variable will be color color change of litmus litmus paper and the constant variable will be volume of water all right so uh, we go for next question the experiment three and four okay try to look at experiment three and four here we have aluminium oxide and we reacted with nitric acid when acid react with metal metal oxide this reaction is known as neutralization reaction all right so when acid react with metal oxide we will get a salt solution and water right this salt solution is a colorless solution the ph value of this solution is neutral which carries 17 mark that means um, uh, aluminium oxide react with acid and here we check the experiment number four sodium hydroxide reacted with aluminium oxide and we have ph value of seven that means here also we have a salt solution and the state inference for above of observation okay aluminium aluminium oxide okay is an m4 m4 teric oxide all right so uh, this is the inference and we try to check od operational definition the od what observe plus what done in this experiment so what observe plus what done in this experiment will be a colorless colorless solution solution with ph value value of 7.0 for m 3 oxide for 7.0 is formed all right is formed when aluminium aluminium oxide aluminium oxide dissolve dissolve in both both acid acidic and alkaline alkaline or alkali solution respectively all right so this will be our operational definition when colorless solution with ph value of 7.0 is a uh, form when uh, aluminium oxide is dissolved in both acidic and alkaline solution now we try to do classify question question number four classify the following compound uh, acidic oxide and basic oxide students required to do table and must do partition and must label like this and we try to check the compound given in the table silicon dioxide will be acidic oxide magnesium oxide will be basic oxide copper two oxide will be basic oxide phosphorus five oxide will be acidic oxide then i'll try to do here so silicon silicon dioxide sio2 will be acidic oxide phosphorus phosphorus five oxide p2o5 will be acidic oxide magnesium oxide will be basic oxide and copper copper two oxide also known as basic oxide all right so we try to check the notes given here okay so notes aluminium remember uh, remember aluminium oxide is known as m oxide the oxide that can react with both acid and alkali solution and try to remember the table here all right <coughs> Okay, uh, basically in this experiment, they will take sodium oxide because sodium oxide is an oxide and soluble in water and sulfur dioxide very soluble in water and aluminium oxide uh, insoluble in water but can react with acid and alkali, alright? Okay, so we move on to the next question, design and experiment. So, try to look, student, try to look at the question given here, <coughs> alright? Okay, so uh, so Ani, because uh, Sophia and Christina, based on your observation, okay, what are your heat of neutralization? And here, the strong acid Y react with sodium hydroxide. The heat of neutralization produced is higher. All right, and uh, here I use weak acid X. 
All right, that means our uh, acid Y, acid Y is strong acid, so we name it strong acid hydrochloric acid. Okay, so acid X, acid X is a weak acid, so weak acid ether, no weak acid. All right, okay, so we always try to remember when we take a polystyrene cup, we use a uh, sodium hydroxide and we pour the acid, the heat of neutralization produced is higher. Alright, so when we do experiment 2, when we take polystyrene cup, alright, so we pour your sodium hydroxide, we add uh, ethanoic acid, okay, the heat of neutralization produced is lower, alright, so we try to design this experiment, okay, so always remember this experiment also is an odd topic for this year SPM, so how to do problem statement, the problem statement will be does the type. Okay, does the type of acid, type, type of acid affect, affect the heat, heat of neutralization when, okay, react, when react with sodium, sodium hydroxide solution, then student must put question mark. Alright, so the manipulated variable will be type of acid or student can write acid X, sorry, acid Y is hydro, hydrochloric acid, okay, and acid, acid X is ether, ether norvic acid, okay, alright, so the responding variable will be heat of neutralization. And the constant variable will be concentration, concentration and volume, volume of sodium, sodium hydroxide, hydroxide solution, all right. Okay, uh, we try to do hypothesis in this experiment, the heat of neutralization in reaction between strong acid and ear we need to change. Okay, the heat of neutralization in reaction between strong acid react with sodium, sodium hydroxide solution, solution is higher, higher than the heat of neutralization in reaction between weak acid react with sodium, sodium hydroxide solution. Alright, so we go for material. The material needed is sodium hydroxide solution, hydrochloric acid, ethanoic acid. Alright, the measuring cylinder, thermometer, polystyrene with uh, cover will fall under apparatus. Alright, we try to do procedure. The first procedure will be measure and pour 50 cm power 3 of 2.0 mole dm negative 3 of sodium hydroxide solution into a polystyrene cup then we try to record record the initial temperature of the solution after few minutes and we pour pour 50 cm power 3 of 2.0 mole dm negative 3 of hydrochloric acid solution into another try to don't use measuring cylinder another polystyrene polystyrene Cup, all right okay so we try to record the initial temperature of hydrochloric acid after few minutes after few minutes all right and we pour the hydrochloric acid or we can use add add the hydrochloric acid quickly and carefully into polystyric cup containing sodium hydroxide solution the mixture we master the mixture using thermometer Observe and record the highest temperature of the mixture and the last step will be repeat Repeat step 1 until step 6 using ether norvic acid and sodium hydroxide solution to replace Hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solution. All right, so we go for last part tabulation of data student required to do table Okay, example of table already given here, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, ether norvic acid react with sodium hydroxide solution and we have to label here initial, initial temperature and the unit must put here 
and the initial temperature of SC to initial temperature of alkali and we have to get the average initial temperature and the last point will be we need to find the IS IS temperature temperature of mixture all right so uh, this on is so therefore I already get 17 marks for this question all right cool so uh, these are the targeted question for paper 3 I already do two slot first slot and second slot I hope students will understand and will try to give the best in the paper 3 I wish you good luck all to especially for all students especially to my school student SMK Bukit Bandaraya thank you very much Take care.